Hi there, my name is Zivelo, welcome to CUP TV. Today we're going to be discussing Ari's new C4 Mini RF motor, which has been uh, just introduced. So you may be familiar with the design of the motor, it's exactly the same as what C-Motion have been working on with the C-Pro line. As you know, uh, the C-Force Mini is a shared motor between C-Motion and Ari. So here with the C-Force Mini RF, basically what Ari have done is they've upgraded the C-Force Mini into an RF version which has a built-in motor controller. So now you're able to bypass the AMC1, the UMC4 from Ari as this motor controller will be built in directly into the motor itself. This means that you'll be saving on a lot of space, you'll be saving on a lot of cabling, headlink, etc. which comes in very handy when we're talking about gimbal setups. Okay, So let's take an example, you have a uh, Red Epic W on your gimbal, you want to add a photo focus system in there. In general, if you were to stay with Preston or Ari or C-Motion etc, you would need a motor controller which will need power through whatever power output uh, you can find on your rig and then you'll be daisy chaining your motors via cables from the motor controller so obviously you'll need power for that as well and we're going into a whole system which gets quite bulky and just takes a lot of space maybe quite tricky to balance and quite tricky to find all the, the the required mounting options so with a unit like this the motor controller is now built into it so all we need to do is come from our power source into the, the motor and then we'll be able to daisy chain two more C-Force Minis. There's no point in using more than one uh, C-Force Mini RF, you can just stick with the regular C-Force Minis once you use uh, the RF as the first motor. The connectors here, so we still have an input and output, so the first connector is, um, is a 7-pin uh, limo. This actually acts as an bus as well, but it has extra uh, pins in there for power and for communication protocols. So via the WC4, we'll be able to start and stop our camera, depending on what camera you're using and what protocol the camera offers. So within ARRI, everybody's familiar with the 3-pin RS, the 3-pin Fisher connector. So all we need to do, and this is the example we have here today on the Amira, is we're going from the 3-pin Fisher RS uh, input output here into the C4 Mini RF and then from the C4 Mini RF we're daisy chaining in into the regular C4 Mini. Now here as you can see we're just controlling our focus which has been assigned to the RF and the iris which has been assigned to the C4 Mini, the regular C4 Mini. So how do we assign this? On the C4 Mini you're familiar with the regular button here, you press it once and you can choose between your focus, iris or zoom. On this one, we've got a little display now, and the reason we have the little display is because if we click on the top button, here we can change uh, which axis we're controlling and which axis is recognized by the WC4, and at the bottom, we can choose uh, which radio channel we're on. So, with the C4 Minis, when connected to an Alexa Mini, you will have eight radio channels to choose from. With the C4 Mini RF, we now have 14 radio channels to choose from. These 14 channels can be changed directly from the C4 Mini RF as we saw here and with the software upgrades uh, that comes from uh, for the WC4 we'll be able to change the radio uh, settings uh, on the WC4 to match the 14 channels available on the RF. Uh, another improvement they have made basically is the C4 Mini in a different chassis and an upgraded system within it and with this uh, upgrade what they have um, done here is actually they've uh, made the motor a lot faster so the torque itself will not be as powerful as that of a C4 Mini, but the motor will be much faster. So we're talking about six rounds a second, so about 240 teeth uh, per second, compared to the C4 Mini, which was uh, 170 teeth per second. Uh, so a big upgrade on the actual speeds of the motor itself, and as you can see here, it's pretty impressive. So as we're aware already, the AMC1 from ARRI is the lower point motor controller uh, which are compatible with the C4 Minis and the WC4. Uh, but this is literally just a middleman in between the C4 Minis and the WC4. You have no lens mapping, you don't have any time codes or any of the extras that are offered on the UMC4. So here, basically we have an AMC1 built into it. Not really, but just so you understand um, the, 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 the unit, it's an AMC1 with the lens data table uh, available. So for the lens data, uh, at the beginning we had to create the lens data onto the WC4 from the SD card, transferred onto a USB stick and then from the USB uh, loaded into the Alexa Mini. And then with Sub5 they've, uh, they've introduced a wireless uh, sharing function where you would basically set up your lens data as you do on the WC4 and then wirelessly send it across to the camera. And this is exactly how we will be 
uh, importing the lens data onto the C4 Mini RF. We create a lens table here and then we send it directly into the motor. The motor will only be able to store one lens table and this is the one it will boot up with every time you switch it on and off. If ever you wanted to add more etc you can store them on the WC4 and just send them as and when you wish. The antenna here is removable, it's basically the same one as you find on the UMC4. It's really robust and not going to break easy. For any more information, just give us a call and ask to speak with one of our uh, technical consultants, so either Jake, Sam or myself, and we'll be more than happy to walk you through the different options, how to rig it, how to use it and what other alternatives are available out there on the market. Thank you.